to cross on the top yeah. if it doesn't have a line of symmetry. So what are you doing, Ryan? Lines of symmetry. Lines of symmetry, okay. So A, the yeah. only only A has one line of symmetry mm -hmm. through the middle. You have to do it straight through the middle. And both lines have to be the same, but okay. that's not really imperfect. Okay, Professor. So then we have to do B now. Point B. Okay, um, yes. well, I'll just change that into a capital B. Well, anyway, bees, the bees don't have a line, lines of symmetry because um, one of the top bump mm -hmm. is smaller than the bottom. So, I told you on A that lines of symmetry have to be, um, each side has to be equal. So, B can't be. So, I put a cross. Now, C. C does have a line of symmetry. Okay. Right through here. I see. That's a line of symmetry. Well, I didn't draw the C very well. Okay. Just the top part's a bit. I see. Professor. Now, D. D does have a line of symmetry <coughs> in the middle again. No, oh, I see. That perfect. Oh, I see. So you can see A, C, and D uh -huh. are all lines of symmetry, uh, have lines of symmetries. But there's one thing I want to tell you. Yes. Lines of symmetries go across the letters. So the line of symmetry for A wouldn't be like that. It would be stretching out from the A so you know it's a line of symmetry. It wouldn't be just the same size as the A. Or then you would think, oh, the A is drawn, is written like that. I made a mistake. That's that's why you, uh, the line of symmetry has to go through the letter. Oh, that's I see. Why, that's why I did it for C and D. Oh, I didn't know that. So, look, D is the most perfectest one, but B is the only one that we that I've written now that has line that doesn't have a line of symmetry. Most of the letters do have a line of symmetry, but some don't. Oh, which letters don't? Um, like um, Z doesn't. Z doesn't. Um, I'll tell you why Z doesn't. Okay. Um, because um. I'll tell you why. Because look, this is how you draw a Z. Mm. So you start, you start from here, mm -hmm. go a line across, mm. then go back down, mm -hmm. do another line. Mm -hmm. But it can't go through there. Well, I think Z does have a line of symmetry. It does. Uh, well, I think it does, yeah. But Y doesn't. Because a capital Y does, but. Um, a uh, small Y doesn't. Just like um, a small A. I doesn't. see. Because okay. it has a small flick at the bottom. And and there's a fact about lines of sy symmetry, and mm -hmm. I know it. <laughs> Anything that has something sticking out from, only one thing that has sticking out from the bottom or the top, only one, then it can't have a line of symmetry. But there's another fact. K is the only letter hmm. in the whole alphabet hmm. that has um, that has something that you might think it does have a line of symmetry. But it doesn't. Some, yeah, but it doesn't. Oh, I see. Look, I'll show you for example. Okay. This is how some people do a K, and this is how the other. Can you see the difference? Yes. This K yeah. has um has a V if you look this way. Yes. Yeah, you're right. But this K yeah. doesn't have a V. It has a Y oh, yeah. sticking out that yeah, way. Yeah, you're right. So that's the difference. K I does not have a line of symmetry. But this is not really how we do the K. So I'll just do it like that. I see. That's not how we um, usually we usually do the code. I see. Well, I sometimes do it like that. 
Okay. So now we move on A, B, C, D, E. We're doing capital letters. E.